up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your girl colors and i am back with another video and today's video is finally gonna be a bump date <laughs> it feels like it's been so long since i've done a bump date well bitch that's because it has been <laughs> i haven't done a bump date since 17 weeks yep 17 week bump date but you know you guys if you've been following me lately you know i've been going through a lot of stuff and there's been a lot of things going on with this pregnancy if you don't know about that please just check out my last two videos and that will tell you kind of everything that's been going on so i haven't been having the time or the energy to invest in doing the bump dates but uh there hasn't been a lot of differences and changes between the weeks so i decided to do weeks 18 to 23 in this video so if you are interested in knowing my new signs symptoms and everything that's going on with me please keep on watching so let me first just start off by saying that one of the major things that have happened to me in these last couple of weeks is that i have found out that i am high risk and I have a high risk pregnancy so therefore I will not be able to do the natural route unless I am able to make it at least past 35 weeks of pregnancy but the problem with that is that it's hard to get into a natural community or natural route at the last minute like that because they may not have openings sometimes they uh, don't like to take the risk because they don't know anything about you and that kind of thing so I have learned to accept the fact that I may not have the labor and delivery that I want but hopefully sometime in the future if it's not this one that I'll be able to do that so the next thing that has happened over the last couple of weeks is that I have started seeing fetal medicine due to me being high risk I've seen fetal medicine roughly about three times now and I really do like the doctor I generally go see the doctor every week but some things have changed first uh, i did get a cervical check they told me that my cervix measured uh 1.2 so it did drop a little bit from the last time last time i went to go see him i think it was a 1.8 then it went to 1.2 but i am not dilated and that is an awesome thing because that was the big worry and i kind of hit a milestone this week because uh, currently when I am recording this video I am 23 weeks and 6 days so tomorrow will be exactly 24 weeks so at that appointment on Monday he confirmed that I will not be getting the cerclage at all they usually do it between any time before 24 weeks so once you hit 24 weeks they don't do the cerclage I do not know if that is a state regulation I don't know how that works but he also did a test to check for chances of me going to labor within the next two weeks I talked about that in my last video and that test results did come back and that did come back negative so it is 90% unlikely that I will go into labor within the next two weeks which means that I will most likely hit 26 to 27 weeks if labor was to happen so he have decided to start seeing me every two weeks things haven't got worse and essentially it has gotten better in a sense I will still continue to see him until I am roughly about 32 weeks and then they would decipher if I need to see them up into 35 weeks or pretty much be done and start seeing only the OB at that point so speaking of OB a lot of people <laughs> in my last two videos have been unanimous is that how you said anonymous unanimous anonymous is definitely not anonymous <laughs> unanimous that everybody wants me to change my doctors like they just like change it change the hospital change the group change everything pack your bags go run hide your kids hide your wife just go <laughs> And I agree. I, I I really, really, really do understand where people are coming from when they say that. But it's not like a situation where I can just up and change. Yes, I can, but I won't be covered by insurance. So this is what's going on. So basically where I live, 
is in a place where I only really have two options where it comes to hospitals and group. With the group that I am now, even though they're not good, I feel like I have a better chance of survival and everything that I'm going through with the group that I'm going with. More so the hospital than the group. The one hospital that I have had many experience with that is worse than the experience that I am dealing with now, I know for a fact I don't trust the other hospital. So to me, that's not even an option to go with those OBs because even if I go there and like those OBs, they only deliver at the hospital I don't like. Now that's also have a lot to do with my insurance. My insurance is an insurance that is limited to where I can use it. So even if I do decide to go to another hospital, it's, it's very likely that that OBs and those hospitals will not accept my insurance which we cannot afford to pay out of pocket. That's just the reality of things. Hold on. Hello? That's really good, babe. I'm actually recording a video now. Uh, okay. I'll just leave him work now, so I'll be home for another hour. Mm-mm. How you leave work late? Because I was working. <laughs> what I tell you about that? Don't be telling me no working late stuff. You a lie. Uh-uh. <laughs> Don't be coming with this I'm working late stuff. I ain't trying to work late on purpose. Let me tell you. Let me pop up on you. It's going to be a problem. Please pop up on me so I can get some excitement around here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be excited. I need you to pop up on me. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if I finish before you come, I'll call you back. All right, love you. Okay. Bye. I don't even remember what I was saying. I shouldn't even answer this phone call. So the reality is, is that going out of network just have all these extra expenses. So I'm really just kind of stuck. So unless something come up, it is what it is. I think Florida is just bad in general. Like if you look at the statistics, uh, we just have a higher mortality rate and infant deaths than the whole United States. So I just think that our healthcare in Florida in general just sucks. Uh, side note, so I also got uh, calls about the supply situation and the, the new regulation in other regions of Florida. They said the same as that thing. So I just honestly believe that it's a state rule. So one of the next things that actually happened is that I was put on pedestrian suppositories, which is vaginal hormone pills. They stick up there every single night. It just kind of helps get your cervix strong. I've been taking that, but the symptoms of that, you'll possibly have high yellow urine or discharge, depending on what the color of the suppositories are. So mine's is like a reddish, and then my discharge just come out like an orangish yellowy color. Another symptom I have gained was that I noticed that I have been becoming very irritable as well as emotional now emotional maybe having to do with all the BS I've been dealing with so I'll chop that up to the game but in general before this has really started to hit, hit the fan I have noticed that I started to get irritated very easily i don't have the patience like i started to get on david's nerves i which, which i really noticed it <laughs> i mean i have patience but i get irritated more with people that know me <laughs> i think that's what it is because people know how i like things how to do things and certain like that and if they don't do it it's like why do i have to explain to you how to do something like 42 times like I just, I guess my, my patience is short and it's just kind of like, mm. so because David knows me the best, I kind of get more irritated at him than anybody, but <sighs> I'm sorry, babe. Oh, <laughs> another thing I did notice is that I would randomly cry out of nowhere. <laughs> I am a big bag of emotion. Like anything can make me cry. Like I'll be watching something on YouTube or a show or anything like that. And if it's semi sad, I would just like get a tear and just start crying. Like I need to grow some balls. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Child, even though my skin has cleared up on my face, 
it, it like my skin isn't as rough even though I feel like the camera be showing like a little bit too much that I don't even see but uh, like my legs my legs and my ass went to hell I don't know what happened I lost all my muscles like my legs have never been this small and they jiggly and that's because I haven't been doing nothing because I'm on bed rest but it's like uh, everything hurts now <laughs> It's like when I sit down, it's like watery. And it's like, I don't have no muscle. I don't have muscle or strength. I'm just, I mean, it's not really a big deal, but no one tells you how much like your lower half of your body changes when you get pregnant and then your back start to stretch and then your legs get tiny and then you just look like a mushroom. Like that is not cute, but I mean, no one checking for that because you're pregnant and no, and people just care about your pregnant belly, but I'm just not used to it. I already don't got no hips, child. I got no hips, no legs, no booty. I'm just top heavy now. Oh, at 21 weeks, I finally started to feel baby move. And it was nothing like I felt that I think I said in my 16 week bump date. It's like you feel the flutters, but then she be kicking and then she be doing a lot. And sometimes I have to decipher. I be like, am I constipated? My stomach bubbling? And then I have to be like, oh, that's just her moving. It's very sporadic. But I notice like when I'm about to like go to bed at night, that's when she most active. And also if I lay on my left side, she moves a lot too. So. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> I'm such a baby. I have more energy than I feel like I had in my whole pregnancy. Like I've been wanting to do stuff a lot more. Maybe it's because I can't really do stuff and that's the reason why I wanna do stuff. But it's just like I have so much energy and I think that's how I'm starting to get into crafting and building stuff again. Like if you follow my Instagram, you may have seen like some of the stuff that I did for my gender reveal. And there was a couple other things that I did that I didn't post, but I think I might start posting more of that, um, the DIYs and stuff, or I might turn them into videos. I don't know. Let me know what you would want to see. But definitely follow me on Instagram just in case I just only post them on there. Another thing is, is that I'm not constipated no more. I don't know what changed or whatever, but your girl started going to the bathroom. But urination, child. I go pee like 50 times a day now. That just started like a week or two ago. But I swear, like it gotten worse in the last couple of days. I went to the bathroom yesterday. I think I, I stopped counting around nine times. Like why am I peeing that much? And it's not like little pee, like the norm pee. It's like the pee where you just have a full bladder and you're running to the bathroom. It's like that. Oh, by the way, baby girl is one pound, five ounces. Oh, six. <laughs> Not an option. I ain't gonna be think about it. Never gonna be a thing. The doctor told me that two trillion times. He must think I'm a freak. It, I'm not, okay? So, I don't know why he keep telling me that every time he see me, but maybe he just like overly concerned. I wasn't even about the life, but now it's like, dang, I got a whole husband, child, but you know what? This gonna make me get closer to God. <laughs> They said nothing, no getting horny, no freaky, no nothing. They said no nada, nothing. But I remember in my past updates, I was saying that it was very, very painful when we were intimate. I'm sorry if y'all new to my channel, y'all don't know I talk like this. I really do. But anyway, I was saying that it was very painful and that was because of my cervix, child. My cervix was short. That's the reason why I was painful, child. I thought I was given another side of pregnancy or whatever, but it was because I had problems. That's the reason why. Moving on. As far as eating, I pretty much everything except for seafood still. And I'm starting to crave food a lot more. I'm just starting to gain weight, but I only gained five pounds because I was around 187 with pre-pregnancy weight and I had dropped down to one, around 168 and then now I am 173.1. One thing they do not tell you about, your girl don't gain two cup sizes. Like, I'm out here. Like, <laughs> I may not need boob job, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. I ain't dumb, I done a lot of research. There's a lot of people who breastfeed 
and they gain all this boobages that they never have, they go away after so long. So, and a lot of times I've seen a lot of people go back smaller than what they was before. I was about to say I may not want big boobs because I lost my legs and my butt, but child, I can't be nobody. So I don't know, we cross that bridge when we get there. I ain't really worried about that. But when I gained two cup sizes, no one told me that your nipples grow too. Like, my nipples grow so big. It's like I woke up one day and my nipples was like three times bigger than what it was before. Why nobody tell me that? Like, I scared the hell out of myself one day when I was crossing the mirror. It's really weird. I don't like all these body changes, you know? I know my stomach is supposed to change, but everything else ain't supposed to change with it. The next thing that I found out is that I have an anterior placenta, which is a big reason why that I wasn't feeling the baby move for a long time because my placenta is big and it's all in front of the baby. Sleep is still terrible. It's like every day it gets worse and worse and worse. Sometimes I be dreading to go to sleep. But overall, I think that's pretty much everything when it comes to the bump date. So I guess we could start talking about baby statistics and then we can go into some belly shots. So, so as of now, baby is the size of an eggplant. I ain't never see an eggplant in person until <laughs> the whole eggplant emoji thing came out so okay it says that your baby weighs about one pound now mine's a pound and a half it says that the hair on your baby's body is darkening and even the skin is gaining some pigment the bone and organs are still visible through the skin however they will soon become less visible due to continuing formation of fat that's good. And this week I may be suffering back pain. That is true, but we don't know if that's due to high risk or not. And the length is about 11 inches. I think she said last time I remember, baby was around 13 inches. I don't remember. But I think the last time it was like 13 or 15 inches. Something like that. But I remember seeing the ultrasound, we see the baby hand and we all was kind of like, dang, that's a big hand. <laughs> That is a really big hand in front of her face, so I don't know. It would, it would throw me off if she's a little tall. <laughs> but anywho, I guess we can get on to showing my baby belly. Y'all remember from my old thing, I had this still Ikea measurement. I don't know if I still fit around it. I checked it like two weeks ago, I still did. But let's see. So, this is the baby belly. This is what's going on. Now to me, this don't look much different than any other time before. But y'all gotta let me know if it's bigger since it's been like four weeks since y'all seen it. I feel like my stomach looks sad. It just like droops down here. But that is where she's living. This is the front. Oh Lord. So yeah, this is where her living quarters looks like. I can tell I'm bulging a lot in the front now, like, cause when I turn this way versus turning this way, it's like a big difference. But yeah, I guess I'm get I'm starting to see a lot of the difference now. But yeah, that's her. The line is getting darker, and let's see what she is measuring. Okay, so this goes up to 39 inches. Let's see if I am still holding on to this measuring tape. So it looks like to me. I measure a little over 38 and a half inches. So I definitely grew. Next week I may not even be able to use this or next week or two. That's the biggest my belly has ever been. That's so crazy, but yeah, that is baby. I think that's gonna be all for this particular video. I believe I have updated you as much as possible. If I miss anything, most likely I'll put it into the next bump date or if you just have some quick questions, you can comment down below. If you haven't already, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. All right guys, bye. Oh,